Deadly crash numbers have piled up like so many twisted vehicles. 19 in the five miles between Hopkins and Mayfair Road, resulting in 23 deaths, the most in the state. We compared each five mile segment against each five mile segment in the entire state uh, in order to find this stuff. The study was commissioned by the Milwaukee law firm Mingo and Yonkala and conducted by 1.21 Interactive in the hope motorists will of course drive more carefully, but also avoid those stretches when they can. Do something that maybe could prevent a family or someone from having to go through that and by by you know identifying deadly stretches of roads we potentially can can find areas that people can can be aware of the second deadliest stretch in the state is also in milwaukee greenfield avenue from first street to 76th 17 fatal crashes with 18 people killed i think that it says that we've got some some work to do. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson has made targeting reckless driving a top priority. Just this week, he learned the city is getting $4.4 million in federal funds for safety improvements, including on the top two deadliest stretches. Throughout the city of Milwaukee, to invest in those neighborhoods to make them safer for all users of the roadway. That's extremely important. The study found the most common contributing factor to that deadliest roads designation, the number of intersections, traffic volume, and speed. Buckled in along the deadliest stretch of road in Wisconsin on Capitol Drive in Milwaukee, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. The other deadly stretches in the top nine in Wisconsin include I-94 between the Marquette and Zoo interchanges, Green Bay Avenue between Pierce and Capitol, and Appleton Avenue between Center and Bobolink.